regreso aquí en Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network y ahora vamos a hablar de un tema muy interesante porque tiene que ver con las emergencias y lo que podemos hacer desde el auto a pesar de que la emergencia no ocurra en el auto. So we're going to switch back to English because we're going to talk to Mary and Adams from OnStar uh, and uh, we're going to talk about emergencies uh, can be reported and we can get help on an emergency even though the emergency doesn't occur necessarily in the car. How are you, Marianne? I'm fine. How are you this morning? Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, very good. Thanks. Uh, so uh, tell us about it. This is, uh, is this like a new service from uh, OnStar uh, that, uh, that can you uh, get that, take advantage of in case of an emergency? No, the service has been around for a long time. Really, the crisis assist service was came about after Hurricanes Katrina and Rita when we realized our subscribers needed us more in emergencies aside from when they were in a vehicle crash. So, yeah, we've been assisting subscribers during crisis events and severe weather events for quite a long time now. So it's not a new service, but people really don't think about using their OnStar service during a crisis event or severe weather. So it's great that we get to tell everybody about it. Yeah, uh, Bill and Katrina, I think they were 2005, if I recall well, because uh, they affected my house. <laughs> I live in Miami, so I remember those uh, quite well. And uh, so this is, uh, let's see, eight years, almost eight years ago, a little bit more. And uh, so what, what happened there? How did you realize that OnStar was being used, or how did people start using it in those cases? Well, during Hurricanes Katrina and Rita, people had no way to connect to the outside world. Their landline phones were down, their cell phones either ran out of battery or they couldn't get a connection, and they started using OnStar, and our call volume actually increased by a thousand percent in those areas. And so people were pressing the button when they were evacuating, so when there's large-scale evacuations, people often wait to the last minute to evacuate which they shouldn't, and they were looking for where to take shelter, how to find a hotel, um, and even during the hurricane, they were looking for weather updates, or they were trying to find scarce resources like fuel, yeah. and they were thinking, oh, I can press the OnStar button, and maybe they can help me, and, and that's what we're there for. We're there to try and provide that centralized assistance for whatever your needs are. Yeah, and uh, so uh, the the system and everything, really, the infrastructure has changed a, a little bit, maybe not so much uh, in those uh, past five years, eight years, I'm sorry. So what is there anything new that people can do now in case of uh, something uh, happens? Well, of course, they should always be prepared, right? You should have an evacuation plan with your family. You should have a communications plan with your family. You should have an emergency pre preparedness kit at home. And all that information is available for your listeners on the FEMA website, which is ready.gov, and there's all kinds of good information out there to be prepared. And you should also listen to your local emergency management officials because when they tell you to evacuate, you should take heed of their word and you should evacuate in a timely manner. But we also, OnStar has a remote link app, so if you currently have a vehicle that has a remote link app capability, download that app and you can use your app to help you as well in terms of evacuations or unlocking your car or finding information or connecting to our call center. But You should always just feel free to press that blue or red button um, during an evacuation or a crisis situation, and we'll do what we can for you. Yeah, and uh, these kind of services, I guess, uh, they are included in the when you pay your subscription for OnStar, right? I mean, it's nothing extra right. for this. Right, it's nothing extra. So when you get a new General Motors vehicle, you get OnStar directions and connections package free for six months. And then after that six months period, you um, pay an annual fee, which is 200 for, we have two subscription packages, which is the safe and sound package or the directions and connections. So the safe and sound is um, less expensive but for the, than the directions and connections. But during a crisis event or severe weather, you have access to all services. So we're going to help you regardless of what package level you have. I see. And uh, so are there any special instructions that, uh, or any special steps that people should follow once, let's say, uh, they already, let, let's, let's put the worst case scenario, right? Like people didn't listen to the, the news, uh, didn't follow instructions, they're like, 
getting hit by a hurricane or something now that hurricane season started here in the U.S. Um, and, and they just like lost power and like internet connection. So what's what's next? Um, they should press the red emergency button and see if they can get a, a connection through OnStar and we'll try and help you. If you need emergency assistance, however, if it's during the hurricane, first responders are likely not to come up because it's putting their life in danger. So that's why I really tell people to be prepared and not to ignore local emergency management officials. But at least if you press the red emergency button and you get connected to us, um, we can at least contact first responders and we can give them your location because when you press that button, we get your location. So we know oh, where I you're see. At. Yeah. And then you can uh, interact with the first responders in case they can still help you, right, I guess? Correct. We can, we can at least relay the information to first responders and let them know where our subscribers are located, but that doesn't mean that first responders can come out because of the situation, but oftentimes they will attempt to do what they can. Yeah. And, uh, and now some, um, I recently was at a presentation uh, with the General Motors uh, for the new technology, the 4G uh, technology that is going to be incorporated in cars. And that's another step that people can, can uh, another resource, I guess, that people can use in case of emergencies, right, when they have Wi-Fi in their cars. Yeah, it's a great new tool that we'll be offering in the vehicle. So if you have a 4G-capable vehicle, which is coming out soon, um, you can have your devices connected within the vehicle, and obviously through your devices you can get all the latest weather information, and you can be connected to your local emergency management website, um, or you can get Twitter feeds from them. So it's a great way to stay connected and do the things that you need to do during the emergency through your um, connected vehicle. Vehicle. Yeah, and I guess the first, very first step of everything, in case of hurricanes at least, is that put your car in a safe place, right? So <laughs> it doesn't get damaged by the hurricane in the first place. That's true, you do. But if you need to evacuate, make sure that you evacuate in a timely manner. But if they're telling you to stay put and you don't need to evacuate, yes, because of this, they, a lot of the damage can come from the strong winds, obviously, and, and debris flying around. So make sure not only that you're safe, but yes, if you can put your car in a safe place, that would be great. Too. Yeah, and um, also, uh, I understand, I, I have been living in Florida since 1989, so I was hit by Andrew, I've been hit by Katrina. Bill Billman, uh, a few others, and some uh, worse than others, but uh, I understand that most of the injuries and damage happens actually after, uh, after the hurricane, because people wander out and like they don't see what's out in the, on the streets, falling trees, falling fall uh, power lines and stuff, so that's another thing that people should really be careful with, I mean like where you walk on and where you drive if you can drive away if after the, the, the event, right? That's absolutely true. You want to make sure that you're able to leave your home. And if you're not able to leave your home, if you need emergency assistance, again, you can go out to the vehicle. Even though you're not driving it, you can still go out to the vehicle and press that button, start your vehicle and press that button. And if you need assistance because you can't get through on your landline phone or your cell phone, um, we can get assistance to you. So we have had that happen numerous times where people have gone to their car after the storm to help get assistance to their house. Yeah, and obviously this doesn't uh, only work for in case of hurricanes, I guess, uh, and any other natural disasters, people can still uh, get a, a take advantage of, uh, of these services, right? Absolutely. Obviously, in the United States, we have severe tornadoes, um, wildfires. There's been a great drought, you know, so wildfires are already occurring, um, earthquakes, um, flooding, all those kinds of events. If something is occurring and you need help, just remember that that blue button and that red button were there to help you, so don't hesitate to press it. Yeah, I uh, had the opportunity to be at the Central Command of OnStar in Detroit um, last a uh, few months ago, and it's very impressive how the the whole thing works. And I they they told us there that when that incident, remember in uh, Minneapolis, I think it was when a bridge collapsed. I think OnStar reported even first than newscasts because you were watching it and people were reporting it back to you. 
Yes, we do get a lot of um, initial reports from our subscribers because, as you can imagine, we have over 6 million subscribers driving out on the roads in North America. So a lot of times they are reporting things first to us, and then we actually turn around and report those immediately to um, first responders to make sure that they're aware of them. Great. So, and uh, what are what are there uh, are there any other new uh, services or, or uh, offers from uh, from OnStar for 2015 or 14, whatever we're selling now? Um, the big thing that you we talked about already is the 4G capability and and the um, mobile hotspot that we're going to be introducing into the vehicles. And then the other thing that people love is the Remote Link app. You know, there OnStar has a number of services, and the safety and security is um, very paramount to our services, and people don't think about those. But, you know, if you need roadside assistance, if you need help connecting to someone, we can connect you to your loved ones or even to the power company. Um, you know, there are just a number of services. We can help find hotels for you and shelters. So under the umbrella of OnStar, we can provide you with a number of safety and security services, but we can also provide you with the um, luxury of helping you find those things that you need while you're out on the road. Excellent. Thank you very much, Mary Ann Adams from OnStar, uh, talking about uh, another way of uh, using OnStar in your car. Thank you very much, Ann. Thank you. Bye. We'll talk soon. Bye -bye. Bueno, ahí tienen importante información ahora que empieza la época, la temporada de huracanes aquí en Estados Unidos. Yo soy Javier Mota, esto es Auto 060 y ya regresamos con más información sobre la industria automotriz. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.